Everyone's been talking about ChatGPT's schedule task, but today I'm gonna to show you something way more powerful. What if you could turn your iPhone into a personal AI command center that works with any AI assistant and not just ChatGPT? I'm talking about waking up to an AI curated news digest in your inbox, capturing ideas with just your voice and having them automatically organized into Notion. And even combining multiple AI assistants like ChatGPT and Claude to supercharge your workflow. And the best part, you can set all of this up in just minutes using Apple shortcuts. No coding needed, just your iPhone or Mac and a few minutes. Let me show you how. Hi everyone, Alex from Grit AI Studio here. Before we dive in, you'll need a latest iOS version and the apps we'll be using. I'll put links to everything in the description. Now, let me show you three game-changing automation flows. First up, your personal AI news curator. With this simple flow, we ask ChatGPT to summarize the day's top news, format it into a clean digest, and then send it to your email at your preferred time. Let me show you how to set this up. Let's create our daily news digest. So first we're gonna ask ChatGPT to provide a summary of the key headlines from tech in the past 24 hours. We're also gonna ask it to format it in an easily digestible format. And then we're gonna send this to our own email. And then we can right click to add a variable. For instance, the current date. And that's it. We can now try to run it by clicking on the play button. If you wanna automate any of these at a specific time, it's super simple. Simply hit the automation button and then add new automation. So if you wanna do a daily task, we can simply specify the time. And then we essentially say that it should run immediately rather than having the user confirm it first. Then we hit next and then we essentially select our shortcut. And there you have it, your personalized news digest, delivered automatically every day. The next one is my favorite, turning random thoughts into well-structured Notion pages. This one lets you capture any brainstorm. This activates with the click of a button or even with a voice command. You speak your ideas, this gets passed to ChatGPT or Claude, where it gets structured and formatted. Then it automatically creates a new Notion page in your brainstorming database. You can of course also do a simpler version that stores it in your notes on your device. Here's how to build it. So let's create a convenient shortcut for capturing our brainstorms. In this case, I'm gonna start with the dictate text function. So here I'm gonna allow the user to essentially brain dump to the phone. And then you can choose that it should stop after a longer pause or when the user taps. So I'm gonna do tap. And now we can take the output from the dictation and feed it into, for instance, ChatGPT. Now here we can then say, please structure this brainstorming. And then we can add the variable from our dictation, which is available here, as you can see on the screen. Now, of course you can expand on this prompt, but for simplicity, let's keep it like this. So the output from this response from ChatGPT can then be added to a note, for instance, you can create a new note or we can create a new page in Notion. So let's do that. Create document. And in this case, we can select our database and we can say brain dumps. And then we can specify a title um, or we can simply uh, use the output from ChatGPT. So we're gonna put the output from ChatGPT in the body 
and then we're just gonna say brain dump and then we're gonna just add the date today and we'll do it in the short format and that's it so now once we run this it will capture our brainstorm it will format it and then it will store it in notion simple as that so let's try it out Hey, this is a little brainstorming. I have a great idea about creating a magic wand that uh, can uh, uh, create rainbows. I just wanted to capture that idea before I forget it. So now you can see the shortcut is running my ChatGPT prompt in the background. And then once that's done, it will create the page in Notion. Pretty cool. So instead of just opening these shortcuts from the shortcuts app, so you can actually trigger them from different buttons on your phone as well. Let me show you that. So back tap is one way to trigger these shortcuts. So I have assigned my brainstorming to a triple tap on the back of my phone. And you can also trigger the shortcuts with Siri. Now you can capture your ideas anywhere, anytime. Last but not least, let's combine ChatGPT and Claude for research and writing some content. Here, ChatGPT gathers and analyzes information. Claude takes that research and crafts it into polished content. This is perfect for your on-the-go email or social content creation. Let me show you how you set it up. So let's create a shortcut that combines ChatGPT and Claude for research and writing. Let's first ask the user for input on what they would like to research. Then we'll take that input and feed it into ChatGPT. We'll then ask ChatGPT to provide a concise summary of the topic. And then we'll ask Claude to turn this summary into an email that we can share with our colleagues. And we can turn off show when run on both of these. Now, then you can end this with obviously sending that email. Alternatively, you can use this to create a Notion page as a draft for social media content, for instance. So a quick heads up, while these automations are powerful, they're not perfect. AI responses can vary, network issues can interrupt the flows, apps might need reconnecting occasionally, but don't let that stop you from experimenting. I've found that flows can fail when apps are not running or when you get logged out, but a big advantage over ChatGPT schedule tasks here is that you can easily rerun it in seconds. Some apps like DeepSeek do not currently support this, but hopefully when they watch this video, they will launch it in no time. So here's a pro tip for you. Sometimes when a shortcut fails, it really sucks if you lose your entire brain dump. So what I would highly recommend is to actually split this shortcut in two. Let me show you how. So let's use the get text from input. We'll move and we'll actually move this one all the way to the top. And then we're gonna delete our dictate text. And then we're gonna select the shortcut input as the source for the text. Now, if there's no input, we're gonna choose that we're gonna get it from the clipboard. That's the entire change you need to do. Now, of course, here, instead of dictated text, we need to choose our variable here. And now it's this text element. That's it. Now, this will now be the actual brain dump formatting. And now we just need to add another shortcut. Let me show you how to. Here, we're gonna do our dictate text. And then we're going to use something called copy to clipboard. And then we're going to open our shortcut, which was our modified brain dump. And that's it. So now if for some reason our shortcut fails, we will have a copy of our dictated text on the clipboard. And then if that happens, we can run this brain dump and it will fetch whatever is on the clipboard and feed that into the rest of the shortcut. So there you have it. Three powerful AI workflows you can build today. Try them out. 
Modify them, make them your own. More apps are introducing app intents and actions, so go ahead and explore and experiment with this. Drop a comment if you need help or have ideas for other automation flows you'd like to see. In case you missed it, check out this next video on ChatGPT schedule tasks. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI automation tips. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.